What's up everybody? Welcome to part four of the Surfer SEO tutorial series. Today we're talking about the content planner, so let's get into it. As soon as we land on the content planner, there's two main sections that we need to take a look at. There's the domain side of things and there's the keyword side of things. The first thing I'm gonna do is talk about the domain side. So this is where we can input a domain and it'll give us a breakdown of how our top pages are doing. So you can actually go out and connect your Google search console, which is phenomenal, but I've actually created a content planner with Healthline to show you guys exactly how it works. So what they will do is they will basically take the 100 best pages on the Surfer SEO database and and they'll give you an analysis on how they're doing in terms of the content score. On top of that, they'll give you suggestions based on keywords that are related to that main keyword that you're targeting. So for example, here the main keyword is neurologist and they're saying, hey, you should probably add neurologist meaning as a keyword to your content, right? It might give you that quick boost. So this section of the content planner is in beta, so you might see some things that don't make a lot of sense, but they're definitely working on it. They also have this filter, which is quite cool. It gives you the low hanging fruits, right? So here we're gonna see pages that are ranked between the 10th and 20th position, so they're on the second page, and they have a lower than average content score. So they're gonna give us a lot of these different suggestions that we can add to pump up that content score. And that's definitely gonna help us in the search results. Another thing that they do here, which is quite cool, is it'll give you a breakdown of featured snippets. So whether you own a featured snippet, whether you're in queue, or whether you're not in queue. So it'll make you realize that you should probably be putting in more effort into creating more opportunities in your content for those featured snippets. I am gonna be releasing a video on my step-by-step -step guide on how to get more featured snippets. So you definitely wanna subscribe. I'm gonna be posting it right after we finish these tutorial series. So that's the domain side of things. If we go back into the content planner, we need to talk about probably the most important side of things, which is the keyword side of the content planner. So previously in all other sections of Surfer, we put in that main keyword that we're targeting, but here we need to think a little bit differently. Here we need to think a bit broader because what Surfer is gonna do here is give us a large variety of topical clusters that are related with that keyword that we give it. So we wanna think as broad as possible, what is that main topic, that main niche that we wanna target, and that's what we need to input in this specific field. So for right now, I'm gonna continue using the example I've been using in the previous videos, which that main keyword was keto coconut cream pie, but I'm gonna think a bit broader and I'm gonna to wanna to target that keto pie topic, right? So I'm actually gonna input keto pie, Again, results for the United States. I'm all good with that. And I'm gonna create my content planner. Surfer's gonna give us a huge variety of topical clusters, and we're basically creating a content strategy within a few clicks. So as we can see, Surfer has created 117 clusters for the main topic, which is keto pie. And let's take a look at some of these clusters, right? So this is the main clusters. And just to give a quick breakdown, so up here we see the monthly search volume. On the right, we see the keyword difficulty, and this is the search intent. If we just put our mouse over, we can see exactly what that search intent means, right? So now we have this huge breakdown of a variety of different topical clusters. And all of these, if we click into any of them, are gonna have their own set of keywords with their own set of volume and keyword difficulty. Difficulty. So if we think that any of these clusters are interesting, if we think that any of these clusters are relevant, all we have to do is click into it, select all the keywords that are relevant for that specific topic. I sometimes see some odd keywords, so it's important to check these. And once we think that all these keywords are correct, we can go ahead and create that content editor. We're gonna be able to create high quality content that's also extremely optimized for the specific topic cluster. Now that we've created that one content editor, we can do the same for as many of these topical clusters as we like. And again, when we're trying to be topically relevant for a specific niche and for a specific topic, we wanna to take over as many clusters within that main topic as possible, right? Once we've selected a variety of those clusters and once we create all those content editors, we're gonna have them all listed down here. And as you guys saw in part one of the Surfer series, these content editors are very easy to share and that's it. Within a few clicks and maybe 10, 15 minutes, you've created a complete content strategy. If you guys wanna check out the final part of the Surfer series, I'm gonna link that video right here. Otherwise, check out this video on how I grew a client of mine from zero to 30,000 clicks in six months. See you guys in the next one.